Hey guys, welcome to carrying. Yeah, it looks like this game isn't working. <laughs> I haven't been sitting here too, too long, but it uh, this is my second time trying to start the game. I don't even have any Chrome browser tabs up. What the heck? You know? So, maybe we'll have an episode today. It's also literally like. <laughs> Um, two hours and twenty minutes before this video is supposed to go live. So, I'm not going to say that I don't have the time to wait around for it, but, um, I mean, especially for wanting to make it quick. Uh, I definitely do have the time to wait around for it, but I don't think that this is going to work. And I've, I've always kind of put carrying off to the last... Oh! Well then, maybe it will work. I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna edit that out, whatever. Hopefully, you saw the timestamp, and, and uh, it's not overwhelmingly short, but typically that's a, that's a red flag there. So, yeah, I mean, I've talked a lot about how I wanted to axe carry it. <laughs> And right now there's a deal going on on Steam, so I might get another game. Or I could play any of the games that I already have, like Fez. I have Fez. I haven't played Fez. And as it stands, I am almost perfectly alphabetical in my playing video games, so I need to put in a bit of variety in the titles, preferably from something with a name that starts with a letter, probably past the ends. But Mask of... Or is it Shadow of the Ninja? It's Mask of the Ninja, right? Yeah, Mask of the Ninja Remastered is on, on Steam for like 7 bucks right now. So I might get that. And by might, I mean I'll probably get it. It's on sale. Come on, you know? These things are like half off. How can I not? And that is the kind of game that I kind of like. Because oh, we and I like ninjas. Catch me on that spinjutsu stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah, it looks like carrying isn't gonna work today, though. And this gives me just the perfect opportunity to, for one, not really make a video, uh, for two, kind of just talk about stuff. That's nice. And for three, axe carrying as a series. Because, I mean, I. I've really talked about my issues with carrying for the past couple episodes, I guess. And it's it's a fun game, it really is. But I can't imagine this being overly interesting or like riveting gameplay, you know. And a lot of the interesting aspects of it, I don't know, it's like watching someone play getting over it, I guess. Except the controls aren't like terrible, you know? You don't, you don't really get uh, the full effect, I suppose, without actually being the one in control. And, I don't know, I'm not going to say I'm like shortchanging my viewers. If I was, then I would probably keep playing the series. <laughs> but, as it stands, I would kind of rather do other things. Hey, the game loaded! Poggers, as it stands, I'm, I guess, going to play for like five minutes. More so than I would have, is all I'm saying. I'm yoinking this. Can I go up? I forget where I was going, too. This is another thing about carrying, which I say all the time, you know, things like that. It's kind of like there's only ever like two different ways to go. And yet I still get lost. And by get lost, I mean just like I'm going the wrong direction. You eventually get into a, a, a dead end, but you know, after loading screens like this one, reminding me of episode one, it's kind of yeah. I also haven't been doing much. Um, I made an Ori in the Blind Forest episode like five days ago. I haven't been making videos really. It's, it's Wednesday, and typically I make my videos a week in advance, and I haven't made Blasphemous or Cave Story yet. 
So that's kind of wacky. I just haven't. I'm hoping that I'm audible right now. But at the same time, it's not too much of a problem if I'm not. I'm really just talking about the... I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say something that sounds as important as, like, the course of the channel. Because it's really just going to end up being I, I don't want to play carry anymore. And, again, great game. really is. Uh, pick it up for yourself, though. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I've been just kind of sitting around. I played a lot of Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, I, I hate the bonus levels with, with passion, but whatever, I'm bad at platforming. <laughs> 3D platforming. Okay, 3D platforming with um, Joy-Cons. I don't, know. I don't know what it is about just the way that movement is as Sunshine that I don't like it. I think the fact that you're not like you can't crouch might be something, but I don't know. For whatever reason, it almost seems like um, Super Mario 64 was more responsive, but that's just because Super Mario 64 was like way more jank. Anyways, um, speaking of responsive games, how did I even get here? Okay, I kind of see how. All right. So this was the wrong direction. But yeah, I'm I'm just gonna probably leave it off real quick. And next week we'll have something different to look at. Hopefully something with a namesake beyond the letter D. I'm trying to remember what I'm playing on. No, I guess Ori is an O. So that's nice. Unless we're counting it in Blind Forest, in which I have a, in which case I have a B three C's and a B again. Again, it's almost in complete alphabetical order. If I had been playing Carrion on Tuesdays, right? Yeah. If I were playing Carrion on Tuesdays, it would be in alphabetical order because I play what Celeste on Thursdays. So that would be a good old a B and then a C A R and then a C A B and then C and then another one well, another B and B A R. Oh. And for whatever reason, that upsets me just a little bit, because not only is there an odd distribution on letters at the beginning of the alphabet, specifically the first, like, three, um, it's, it's kind of, like, there is a, there is a kind of an internal struggle there with, I'm very close to it being perfectly alphabetical, but I also wouldn't want it to be perfectly alphabetical. So, there are, there are like, hyper me being uber ADHD and, and very dumb kinds of reasons for me to, for me to axe carrying. For one, I will have something that is not even close to alphabetical order. That way I don't have to worry about um, reordering my shows so that they're in alphabetical order. Instead I'll just play fans, which is admittedly still in the first, like, five letters in the alphabet, so the distribution there is still kind of wacky, but at least I'm not playing Abzu, or like Batman, or let's see, what else do I have? Like, again, I could get Mask of the Ninja and start playing that, but I would maybe want to play through that first. Maybe, big maybe there. Um, I don't know. It, when it comes to new series, I don't, mm, like with Carrion, I masked it out. Not masked it out, I hashed it out. I played it first. And it's it's never like a content issue so much as, well, I guess for Blasphemous it would become a content issue. <laughs> it's never so much a content issue as much as, um, like, like a disagreeable content. Um, it's never so much that as much as, like, would this be a good game to actually play? Because I can, like, look at Shovel Knight and games like Shovel Knight. Like, uh, let's see. Hyper Light Drifter? That's the kind of game that you can play on an episode, in an episodic format. And, or in the Black Forest, is the kind of game that you can definitely play in, like, an episodic format. It doesn't always work. Or it tends to be more long form. And I don't like doing that because it's it's I don't I don't want to 
rely on. In other words, it's bad with the algorithm, you know. When you watch my videos anyway, it's kind of like robbing, I guess, of the series exposure just based on it not being consumable. I was going the wrong direction. Not that it matters. Let's just, like, when this screen loads, the video ends, lol. So, yeah, um... Next week we'll have something different. Probably, hopefully better. It might be Fez. But I haven't played all three Fez, and uh, the last time I did, I missed a lot of stuff in the first like, couple of minutes. So... Maybe Mask... Mark of the Ninja? Mark of the Ninja, Mask of the Ninja. Mark of the Ninja, Mark of the Ninja Master. Possibly... What else was it that was right under that, I swear? I know Dungreed is on sale. Um, Senzen I, uh, is on sale. And, uh, let's see here. God, it's literally second in my, in my wish list. My Steam wish list of games that are on sale, hopefully. Let me just look at my phone because it's definitely it's definitely gonna take less time than me like waiting for the game to load. I still think it's wacky that in the Steam app you can't actually like go directly to your wish list. You have to go through like your profile. Flint Hook, that's what it was. Oh my gosh. But yeah, Mark of the Ninjas is like sixty percent off, Flint Hook's fifty percent off. I haven't played Flint Hook somehow. And I want to, because I want to play every game that was included in Bounty Battle so that I can create sets that are far more viable and, like, aesthetically pleasing. And just so that I know that I could do a better job than whatever the heck made Bounty Battle. Anyways, that aside, there's a lot of sales on, on, on Steam right now, so that's very nice. Very nice, very nice. Um... Anyways, yeah, long story short, TLDR, if you skip to the end of the video for whatever reason, I'm not playing Carrion anymore, as you can see with a black screen. Um, the thumbnail would be a black screen, then the title of the episode would be black screen, and I'll still call it Carrion, like episode one. What am I on, six? I think I'm on episode six. It's gotta be. Not that it matters, it's not like I'm putting a thumbnail. Anyways, nice talking to y'all. Um, I gotta say, Brick Wall is my favorite kind of viewer. The kind that doesn't talk back or question me in any way. So, thank you for being... Oh, well, maybe I was going the wrong direction. Anyways, on the next episode. Ha! Yeah, right. Next week. Something. Something way better. Hopefully. Anyways, goodbye. Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.